character or it's not going to translate and you're not going to get over with the fans. too many great outlets up around Hilliard. It's always been that dark, dingy neighborhood where parents have always told their kids, don't go to Hilliard. And that's really one of the things that made us start this wrestling was like, well, we know a bunch of kids younger than us that they have nothing to do other than sit at home and watch their parents do drugs. The only thing you have is a little millimeter fear that she will kick you in if you come over to the house. Hi, Azra. What's up? Hey, let's beat. Nah, him up. He's happy. Cactus Jack is happy? <laughs> What's your buddy Hacksaw going to do about it? He's going to give Chad a hug. Oh, he's going to give him a hug? <laughs> he's going to give him a hug? He's going to fall in love with him. He's going to give him a big, special hug. Looks like he's giving him a headlock. Yep, he is. And he's going to kill him. <laughs> I look after Zelina. She's my roommate's daughter. She's pretty much one thing that I look forward to every day because she can always put a smile on my face. Not a lot in life anymore can. Well, it looks like Jake beat them all up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Our first actual ring was built right here. We built it out of uh, pretty much railroad ties uh, like 300 tires, a bunch of two by fours, and sheets of plywood. We'd fill this yard with hundreds of people each week. It was almost kind of like a daycare center with parents could watch wrestling for free. After that first ring, we all knew what we wanted. We knew we wanted to make it bigger and better, like it is now. Man. This neighborhood's got a lot of history about Spokane or Aslan. <laughs> and his opponent, the one and only living legend of SAW, Matt Backyard wrestling when I was a kid was fun. 
as we got into being teenagers and we started just beating each other with steel chairs and barbed wire and putting each other through tables, it was like, I am so done with this. <laughs> but yet I kept going. I'm gonna end your career. <laughs> it gave me a feeling when I had no feelings going through my body, whether emotionally or physically. At least it was something. Need some help out here, man. Can we get some help out here, please? Oh yeah, this is way off. Jay's my cousin, we're like brothers. Puts on great matches, he tells great stories. He's the guy that's gonna keep Spokane wrestling going. I've had a bad back for the last five years. Concussions, strained knees, broken fingers. I'm leaving performing. I've been around for 10 years. I haven't had a very big break, and my body's not being able to recover as quickly as it once was. At 26, that's not good. belt's 12 feet above that ring, and that's the only thing that's separating me and this championship. That's completely fine. All right, good. You're good. Best characters in this business are extensions of who they truly are. Three. Hold on, which one's up close? Okay. I have my anger side, and I also have my depression, and I put them together, and that gives me my madman character. Russell Rave 10, a decade in the making, I am standing by with the founder and number one contender for the heavyweight championship, Jesse Manson. Tonight, Jesse, one-on-one -on -one with your cousin. Now is the big fight. What are your thoughts this time, Jesse? Nothing's more fierce than a family battle, right? So fierce that it made me go back to who I used to be. So that'll just be a couple minutes after you've been bleeding for a minute. Yeah. Because some of our hardcore, no hardcore fans are going to be like, kick his fucking ass when they see the blood. I think it'll be a good one. Thank you. Yeah. Of course. Thanks a lot, brother. My father was an alcoholic. It was exactly three years from the day Jay's dad died of leukemia. My dad was coping with a lot of alcohol. My mother and father got an internal altercation. My mom called the police. My dad opens up the front door. The police officer opened fire on my father. I was no more than six feet away.
that's really how I lost, lost all feeling, and except for the pain for wrestling. I'm going to still be around to help book shows, help do stories and stuff, but compared to the last 10 years, way more limited of a basis. talk about you know like why the hell are you working a clown <coughs> he's a clown yeah. I'm a real wrestler kind of thing you know okay you ready we'll just do a three okay three two good evening wrestling fans this is Travis Rodriguez backstage and I'm right now I'm with Dallas McCoy Dallas tonight you have a match against oh, Nuttall I, I ain't kissing no feet and I ain't getting pie. And I ain't damn gonna get a makeover. So I'm gonna teach that high school dropout. God damn it. That was good. You were on it. You are on it. All right, my bad. All our favorites used to yell, but you don't need to. Yeah. 
put them on something like this, there's metal they can get cut on, dude. You gotta take the, the, the... If this was a thicker table, once we got this off, we'd take a drill, or a saw, and we'd saw it down the middle. Just a hair. Because we've had a couple of them where uh, guys just bounced right off. Okay. Okay. Well, I just, I just saw one of them. <laughs> Kill it out there, man. They tear rope just now? Yeah. Yes, sir. We can resolve some of the power. One forty nine, nineteen, Chris. That's like shit. So. That's pretty good. Fuck yeah, it is. Holy shit. Fuck yeah, it is. God damn. Salute. Uh, salute to a show that we made money on. Jesse, yeah. good work today, brother. Best thing to do, go watch the 80s, 70s and 80s. Because you'll cause if you kind of get the sport and you go back and watch those, you can literally pick out where the psychology is coming from. Entrances, those are the one things I've been watching a lot recently. You're going to see how comfortable you are during your match right off the bat through your entrance. So. Well, it's that first 20 seconds. Exactly. The fans will either pick up on that you're comfortable or they're going to shit all over you because they yeah. know you're fucking petrified. You got Jay, you got me, and you got Jay's older brother, Matt. Now it's my first, pro well, like one of my first promo photos. I believe that's when I was Freak Boy. I would just kind of act like a spaz in the ring, really. Well, okay, what ring? Two mattresses on the ground. Here's one of my first SAW promo photos. Uh, man, how times have changed. Thank God. Right, there's my mom and dad at my first birthday. Still days I wish they both were here. picture of my old figures I used to have. All them figures cost 10 to $20. And, you know, after, after my dad died and my mom, single mom, you know, working 40 hours a week, barely able to pay rent. She always made sure I had wrestlers. And that's why my mom will always be my hero. <laughs> yeah, Bret Hart's my hero in the wrestling game, but my mom's my real hero.
fucking grass. If I hadn't used my depression as my character for so many years in the backyard, I think I'd be way more depressed. I was able to channel the depression instead of just letting it sit there and eat away. Performing in front of a live crowd, getting that reaction, good or bad, that feeling, that's probably what I miss the most. Yeah, it's one after this Here one. Here we go. One, two, got it. <laughs> Everybody here in our company knows that this guy cannot be stumped when it comes to wrestling trivia. If anybody in this crowd thinks that they can stump Madman with a wrestling question, come on up and ask. Any trivia at all. Come on up, we'll answer your question. Let's see if you can stump Madman at Wrestling Trivia. Hi, what's your name, little one? Caitlin. All right, Caitlin, what's your question for Madman? Why is Madman the best wrestler? Oh. I have to take it from Bret Hart, okay? It's the easiest way of saying it. In this locker room, I am three things. Best there is, best there was, and the best there ever will be. Oh! Mm. Okay, no, match three, J, uh, J Manson versus Sanity, no DQ. Jill, you're going third. Yeah. Okay. Manson goes over. All right, I'll go get some. Uh, match four, Dallas McCoy. J Law. Yeah. Can we have a like, like serious talk real quick? Because they bring up a good point. Where the hell's Spade at, man? I know, I did, I was just thinking. Bro, the I, I know. Phone, that's why I came do in. we still put him over? I mean, fucking, he's never on time, man. Yeah, it's, put it's, McCoy it's, over. It's, put McCoy over. It's a little show. I don't think he is right. It's dirty. You can get a roll up. Yeah, that does sound. McCoy good. goes over. Yeah. Jesse, well, help I'm me if these times don't work. Hey, oh, right. right. I only said five to seven because it's so fast. J Law said he only wanted eight to eleven. It's the five dollar one. Yeah. And that's what you need. Your tiny little hand to use that shit. Yeah, I no, love this. Not one really. For your money. Oh, okay. Oh, I, I actually get a piece. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. I thought. Yeah, actually, I had a pizza and crazy bread. What's that? Oh, that's okay. I thought you meant pizza. If he doesn't show up by that, pizza. I'm going again. Yeah, I'm going. Uh, okay, that's what happens. So you might work Jesse if Spade okay. doesn't show up. By which time? If push comes to shove, if he ain't here by the first match, I will find somebody to take me to go get my shit. Okay. Okay. Little party. Little party. Okay, here we go. Hey, you three. Ladies and gentlemen. This is Mad Men!
I just so happen to be born to two wrestling fans. It was the one thing I've always had that made me go family time. Thank you.